I appreciate that this one is very monochromatic. I'd have to say it's one of my favorite dials, especially on a sport watch. It's uh, out of this world. Hey everyone, welcome to another episode of What's in the Box. I'm Justin, Director of Photography. I'm here with Brandon, the hey. Director of Vintage. Yep. And we got another great watch to share with you guys. As you know, we get tons of watches every day. We get some really interesting and special stuff, and we're here to open it up and check it out. Yeah, let's Before get we get into it, you want to do a wrist check? Sure. What do you got on today? You want me to start? Oh, yeah. Tudor Black Bay. Oh, great. Uh, I like it on the leather. I don't wear it on the leather all that often, but I should start. It does look good, especially with the fall coming yeah, in. Yeah. You know, it's perfect for the weather. Very here. seasonal. Yeah. It's yeah. Nice. Um, what do you got on? I've got on this GMT 1675. It's actually the watch that's- I was gonna featured. say, it looks familiar. Yeah, exactly. It's, been, it's the watch featured in our auction, so I wanted to get a little more wrist time with you it. He's gonna say, it, get one last wear. Before yeah. it's gone forever. It's a great one. Yeah. Uh, as you know, welcome. You weren't here, it was Emily was, last yeah. week, but um, yeah, we, we get all these watches in, mm -hmm. we open them up. We've been working on this one for a little while. Uh, shipping just got it in, and uh, supposedly really special. So you wanna get into it, open it up? Yeah, let's do it. Okay. okay, looks like a Rolex box. Looks like Rolex, looks modern. Yeah. Okay, here I. Okay. Let me get into it. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. That crown, could be anything in there. Okay, you wanna take a guess at it? You wanna uh, Yeah. Wanna um, see what it is? Okay, hold on. Give me, a, give me a little hint. Okay, you get two questions to guess. I'll tell you right now. Hold on, let me make sure I get it. Okay. Okay. Um, this is very special, it's right. different. It's not, uh, okay, it's different. definitely not an everyday Type okay, watch. so is it uh, precious metal? It is precious metal. Okay, okay, so it's not a... Is it... Um... Okay, yeah, is it a sport watch? It is a sport watch. It's a precious metal sport watch. Okay, I think that gets us a little close. It, any uh, any stab on what it is before um, we get the reveal? I'm thinking probably a Daytona. It is a Daytona. It is, you ready? Oh, nice, yeah. White gold close. Daytona, okay. but not just any white gold Daytona, white gold Daytona with the meteorite dial. Man, this is beautiful. Yeah, that's, I love Let's the Let's take a look. So what we have is the Rolex Daytona 116509. Um, solid white gold mm -hmm. uh, with the meteorite dial, like yeah, we said. Yeah, that's killer. Uh, very similar to a standard Daytona without you know all the specialties. Um, 40 millimeters, mm -hmm. sapphire crystal. Um, it's it's heavy. I mean, being solid white gold, mm -hmm. it's heavy, um, and it has a good look. I mean, white gold. I like. I love white gold Daytonas. Yeah. Um, it has that stainless steel feel and look, but more elevated and kind yeah. of if you know, you know Absolutely. type of way, right? Yeah. Um, and also I feel like it's just, you know, it adds a little bit of luxury, right? Like uh, uh, Daytona is such a sport watch mm -hmm. that when it's mixed with that luxury element, I think it's just a fantastic combination. Yeah. Um, you wanna take a look? Yeah, no, this is great. I love these. Um... You know, I used to really be a fan of the black bezel, but now I'm a fan of like the metal or the, the stainless, stainless or color. Or yeah, white exactly. gold in this case, yeah. Exactly. It really reminds me of like the 6265, you know, where they clearly got the inspiration for this, um, you know, through the evolution. Um, but the meteorite is so cool. It's just like, it's mesmerizing. And this is a nice piece too. So they're all different because it's Yeah, like, so you know, the meteorite, they, if you don't know, all the meteorite has come from this one meteor that Rolex has, and they source all their dials from mm -hmm. that one meteorite. And like you said, they're all different, yeah. right? No two are the same. Every single one is yeah, different, very that. similar to stone or wood or any of those kind or of- Or fingerprints. Or fingerprints, or yeah. Or snowflakes. <laughs> <laughs> no fingerprint dials yet. I try and keep those <laughs> off mine, but yeah. um, the meteorite is something that's absolutely unique and gorgeous. And it's, yeah. I, I'd have to say, it's one of my favorite dials, especially on a sport watch. It's uh, out of this world. <laughs> it is out of this yeah. world. Um, I feel like oh, yeah. you really uh, would enjoy the style of this one because it kind of has a little bit of that vintage throwback feel, right? It has that kind of old Daytona um, styling to it with the, uh, you know, the metal bezel. Yep, now, screw-down pushers. Exactly. Yeah, no, it's, it's got a great look. Um, and also, like you were saying, it's very stealthy. Yes. So I like that. It doesn't scream like gold. It doesn't scream, you know, of course it's a Daytona, so, yeah. you know, you can't hide that, but. A lot of the other white gold Daytonas have uh, like the red or blue accents mm -hmm. on the dial, which I really like. I think it's sporty and it adds, yeah. um, you know, to, to the aesthetics of the watch. 
I appreciate that this one is very monochromatic. I mean, we have the Daytona in red. Yep. It's just like that one tiny mm -hmm. little pop of color. And then other than that, it's, you know, the white gold case and bezel and the- The black subs are so the nice. The black sub dials set off really nice. And it's that kind of gray silvery of the meteorite on the yeah. dial. So it's I killer. love the fact that it's so monochromatic. It's just really a clean watch. I mean, I would definitely wear this watch, would you? I would wear it, actually. Yeah, why don't you put it I'm on now? Wear it right Take now. it for a little test drive. Um, I love Daytonas, you know I mean? It's, yeah. Uh, Daytonas are, how's it look? Looks great. Right? And then, you know, it's not too heavy. The white gold is definitely heavier than stainless steel. It is steel, heavy. But it's much, I like it better than platinum. I think mm -hmm. platinum, for me, is a little too heavy. This just has like a nice It does, it feels substantial. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, I really like that. The only problem is, is now I want it, right? I mean, I can't, uh, I can't buy every one of these, but man, I would like to get this one. Yeah. Like, you know, we get tons of watches every single day. This one was a really fantastic white gold Daytona. We'll have another one for you next week. We don't know what that is yet. So after the watches come here, they all make it to our site. Mm -hmm. So be sure to check bobswatches.com for new arrivals. They're uploaded every single day. This one will be there Pretty sometime. Soon. I don't know today, tomorrow, but it will end up on the site <laughs> if you're interested in picking it up. That's it for today. Until next time, be well. Yeah.